Hi, it's Seta here. In this series of tutorials, I will show you how to create day and night cycle effect in Unity HDRP. To keep this tutorial not too long, I divided it into three parts. In this episode, we will focus on the day cycle, and in the next episode, we will create the night cycle. In the third episode, we will add post-processing, replacing day and night reflection probe and possibly include some elements that you like to add to this day and night controller. So today we will create a script that will generate a 24 hours time flow, accelerate, deaccelerate or reverse the passage of time, rotate sun based on the hour, change the light brightness as time progress, Adjust the sun color so that sunrise will be different from sunset. Enable or disable shadows when the sun is below the horizon. So, let's get started. In this tutorial I will use Unity 22.3.11 with a little demo scene that I've prepared. We have global volume with physically based sky, volumetric clouds and bloom. First we must create a new script, so right click, create script, let's name it day and night cycle and double click to open it. First, we need to add a new declaration for HDRP support. So let's type Unity Engine rendering high definition. And now let's add a new header. Let's name it Time Settings. And then let's add a first public float and name it Current Time. Since we want to limit the range from 0 to 24, let's add range 0, 24. Now add public float time speed equal 1 and let's create a new header and name it current time. Let's add public string current time string and in the update let's add current time plus equal time delta time multiply by time speed. Now if our current time is greater or equal 24, we need to set current time to zero. Now we need to add our reference to the new function, so let's create new void update text time. This function is to present the current time in the inspector, but in the hours minute system and not as a sequence of numbers. So our current time string is equal math floor current time to string zero zero plus colon plus current time percent one multiply by 60 to string zero zero. Let's add a reference to this function in the update so that it works immediately after the script start. Okay, so save script and move to the Unity. Now let's create a new empty object. Let's name it day and night manager and assign this script to this object. And now when we hit play, we will see that our script display the time. Using time speed, we can speed up, slow down or reverse our time. And of course, if we change the current time value, our script will start from that moment. Now let's go back to our script and add the sun rotation relative to time. So open the script, 
and let's create a new header and name it light settings now we need to assign our sun to the script so public light and let's name it sunlight we also want to set sun horizontally from the inspector so let's add public float sun position equal one now in the update we need to add reference to new function so let's create a new reference update light and now let's add new void update light open this function and let's type float and rotation equal current time divide by 24 and multiply by 360 now let's add rotation to our sun so sunlight dot transform dot rotation is equal quaternion Euler sun rotation minus 90 here we use minus 90 because we want the sun to be at minus 90 degree when it's midnight not at zero which is the horizon line then we need to add rotation in the y-axis and this is our sun position in the z-axis it will be zero we also want to have a preview of the sun position in the editor so let's add private void on validate update light now let's save this script and move to the editor. We will get an error in the editor, but it is only because we don't have the light source connected. So now you can clear this error. And now when we move the slider, our sun will set its position depending on the time we set. Oh, I forgot to set uh, the exposure to fixed mood because I don't want the editor to automatically select the exposure so I use the fixed mood. Okay, let's go back to the script and I as said earlier we can set the time with the slider and by moving the value in the sun position we set the horizontal position of the sun. And when we hit play our sun will start moving. Of course we can change the time speed to increase the sound movement. And because we set exposure to fix it, our night will be dark. And when the clock is at 6 we have sunrise. And sunset at 6 pm. In this step we add ability to control the light intensity during the day cycle. So let's open the script again. So first we must add public float, let's name it sun intensity equal one and then public animation curve, let's name it sun intensity multiplier. Okay, now let's go to the void update light and type Float normalized time equal current time divide by 24 float intensity curve equal an intensity multiplier evaluate. Let's add other additional light data. Let's name it sunlight data equal sunlight get component other additional light data. If our sunlight data is not equal noon, then sunlight data intensity is equal intensity curve multiplied by intensity. Now let's save this script 
and we have another error just because we don't set the intensity multiplier so let's click on this icon and then let's move to the sun intensity and increase this value because our script set intensity of directional light to 1. This makes it easier because we don't have to go to the light settings and we can control the light intensity using a script. So now we can delete this error. When you open intensity curve, you can see that our sun intensity is constantly multiplied by 1. In the position 0.5 we have our noon, in the position 25 we have down, and in the position 0.75 we have dusk. So now if we drag this point to 0 and this point to 0 0.5 we decrease the light intensity and let's do the same in the other points when we move our current time to noon we can increase or decrease the sun intensity by grabbing the 0 0.5 point and rising it on the graph, we can adjust the light during noon. And when we hit play and go to the directional light, we will see that our intensity is constantly changing. Just try different curve settings to get the effect that suits you best. Now we change the color of the light depending on the time of the day. So let's open the script again. First we must add another public animation curve. Let's name it light temperature curve. And then in the update light we need another float. Temperature multiplier is equal light temperature curve evaluate by normal z time and then light light component is equal and light get component light if light component is not null then light component that color temperature is equal temperature multiply multiply by 10000 because the light temperature is in Kelvin. Now let's save the script and go to the Unity. And again we have the error due to the lack of information from the temperature curve. So open this temperature curve and click on this icon. Now we can clear error. And again as in the case of the sun we can adjust the temperature to the given hour. If we move the point above 1, then we get a colder light and if we move point below 1, then the light will be warmer. And once again, I encourage you to take some time to adjust the light to the effect that you want to get. In this last section of this video, we will add a function to our script that will turn off the shadows from the main light at dusk and turn them on again before dawn. We have to do this because in Unity there cannot be two directional light that generate shadows at the same time, especially since we want the moon to also generate shadow at night. So let's open the script again. First we must create a bool that will inform us or the shadow is on or off. So public bool is day equal true. We will create a new reference in start because when the script start we have to check whether it is day or night. So let's create check shadow status. And then let's do the same in the update. So check shadow status and if we want to preview it in the engine let's add a check shadow status in the onValidate. Now let's move to the bottom of the script and create a new void check shadow status. Let's copy this had additional light data create a new float current 
and rotation is equal current time and if current sun rotation is greater or equal 6 and current sun rotation is less or equal 18 then sunlight data enable shadows true and or is day is equal true else sunlight data enable shadow is false and its day is equal false let's save the script and move to the unity and when we move to our script we have this is day on enable and when we hit play on the day the is day is enable and on night is day is disable and when we go to the directional light we can see that our shadow map is enable on the day and disable on the night and that's all for this part of the tutorial in the next tutorial we will add a night to this script but i encourage you to try adding night yourself based on the script please also let me know in the comments if the script should have any other function during the day and if everything in this tutorial was understandable if you have any questions comments are at your disposal and until next time see ya